Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Uh, today I'm here to do a flip through of my two books here that were originally supposed to be one, but I had too much stuff saved, so I had to make two. Um, these will both be up in my Etsy shop. I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. Um, I'll put all the dimensions and all the other good stuff up on the screen so you can see. This is a series that I am calling Mind of Morticia. And it is called that because it mainly focuses on Morticia alone. However, there are little references, other references in the book that go for the rest of the family. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, I don't, didn't put closures on them. I have rounded spines that happened completely by an accident. If you care to know, I will explain that later, but I just can't do it in this video. On the top, I have this charm and it has one of my coffin charms that are really heavy. And then this rose I have tied on with some fish wire onto the chain. And um, I've just attached this to the top as a charm. But if you want to make a closure, all you have to do is add another clip to the extension of the chain and then you can make it a closure here. Okay, so... Um, it says Karamia because he calls her that. There's some burgundy fabric behind the black frame. Thanks, Dolly, for pointing that frame out to me. And the fabric I got from Shayna, it was really white, the damask, so I ran black soot over it to dull it out a little bit. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get in. Um, at the front, there's a double pocket. Um, that's a glassine bag I got from Dolly, so you can put something here and behind it. There's Morticia, who was played by Carolyn Jones. Um, I have some dead roses here that are backed with coffee stained paper. Um, there's some uh, feathers at the top of this page that I sew sewed on. I left this Morticia plain. She was originally meant for the cover, um, but I decided to make the covers a little bit different so you can stick her anywhere in the book that you would like. This tag I made when I was in Texas with Terry Supplies, so thank you, Terry. And the best part of Grandma's house, I put that in because if you know, Grandma Ma is part of the show. Um, toe tag um, that I got from Ephemore. So I have these metal tags that I got from Shana, and I coffee stained them all. This one says neat, and I did hand write that on there. Inside of this bag, I have a big tag that I got from Junk That Treasures. As you can see, I just coffee stained it and sewed the image onto the front. I will link Sarah's um, shop in the, in the description below so you can check her out as well. There is a little pocket here and inside of it is the Tim Holtz um, cabinet card. And inside of that is a picture of Morticia. And I have a little owl punch here that I got at Hobby Lobby in Texas. So that's pretty cute. There's sewing, there's literally a day's worth of sewing in these books. At the top it says Kirira, because that's what he, what Gomez would call Morticia sometimes. Here's the uh, other punch out from that, um, the owl. I made these little tiny coffin notebooks and I just used jump rings to make them kind of act like, um, like the binder rings that we put on books so that you can actually open these and, and the, they're little working notebooks shaped like coffins. Obviously, the mustaches represent Gomez. There's one of these in each of the books. Morticia is sewed on at the four corners here. So that allows you to put stuff behind her. Top loading pocket that has the whole family here. This number tag here. Tsunami Rose without this is a piece of paper I broke up into different segments to make tags inside this envelope there's oops there's me tearing it um, <laughs> there's two little tags that I made and the stripes represent Pugsley because he was always wearing stripes so as you can see there are references to the family but it's focusing on Morticia here's a um, tombstone advertisement center of the signature some little dead dancing roses um, inside of this envelope I have a little 
It's, I got these in Texas. It's a little Ouija board card. And you can kind of see that through the window here when I flip it. Alteration tag from Junk That Treasures. I put this in because um, Morticia liked to sew and make, make clothes. <laughs> So I thought that was kind of perfect. So I just stitched on it randomly and I coffee stained it. And these are really neat. So um, if you don't have the alteration tags, they feel really amazing. Check out her shop. There's a flip out there. One of my crows, some blood washi. I have a tea pot here because Morticia liked to drink her little cup of tea. Um, some more of that paper that I broke up. Imported elixir. This is another top loading pocket that's empty at this time. You can add something to it though. Another piece of that paper that I broke up to make a tag. Inside of this pocket, I have this envelope, um, a CD envelope thingy, and you can get these in Sarah's shop. Um, I've been wanting these for a long time to make something exactly like what I made. I sealed it off. Um, there's a piece of scrap stapled on with a tiny attacher, and inside of here is a picture of Morticia. There's some um, pressed lantana, a pressed um, rose petal, and another little flower that I pressed, and there's some heart punch outs in there, and then some black sequins because it's also a shaker. Um, so here is Morticia showing Lurch how to crochet, which I thought was super cute. <laughs> He's like, what? Here she is. Just tucked her in like that. Stamped some bats on there. Another piece of that paper that I broke up and I stapled on some of that fabric that's on the front cover, the same fabric that's layered. Another tag with some little fabric-y stuff there. So it's a tuck spot here and then also inside the bag I have their mansion and then I just have some red uh, sequins up at the top. Okay so I'll put that there. <laughs> here it says beware of the thing and then behind it I have the thing. He's always passing out the mail. I know Cousin It's hair wasn't black but I put this in to represent Cousin It and then I just wrote Cousin It and they do spell it with two T's. I stapled it on so that you can still write here without having it in the way, or you can just remove the staples and take it out and use it for something else. Some pruned roses. This is real vintage ledger paper that I got from little Rhonda Lee. So thank you little Rhonda Lee for that. Um, here I have Lurch's eyes and I made them a tuck spot and then behind that is these little cards. I got these particular ones from Sarah's shop, Junk That treasure, Treasures. Um, and then on it, I have this little noose charm. And I put the noose charm because in the house, if you pulled on this, um, Lurch would come uh, wallowing out saying, you rang. <laughs> so there's a pocket here stamp I got from Dolly. Thank you, Dolly. It's a, another piece of ephemera here in this top loading pocket. Here's another um, Morticia and Gomez tucked behind the vellum. That's him kissing her arm as he always did. And then I have this giant piece of like gold rosette and black uh, rosette fabric. And then behind it, I've hidden the deadly nightshade. So that goes back there. Another top loading pocket with ephemera. I have a handwritten quote in this book from the show and it says, a day alone, only, only that would be death. So true. <laughs> a little tiny vellum uh, tippin. The other tag that I made, um, it was using some tassel that was falling apart. So I took the tentacles of the tassel and I sewed them on to here. And I did that because it reminds me of the bottom of Morticia's dress, like the octopus look that she has. And in here, this doily, I just made in a pocket. Here I traced my hand, and so <laughs> it's kind of like the thing. So you can tuck something behind the hand. This is a real, um, it's a copy of a real note that I have. It's a vintage note that someone wrote and left to someone, but I felt like it was perfect in this book. 
It says, um, it says, hi dear, where is everybody? I'm going home, so don't look under the bed. And he drew a little phone, phone later or call later, or you, me, love me. And then he has some little drawing here that I have no idea what it is, but <laughs> I want to know why, why not look under the bed? That's what I want to know. <laughs> So I made this little coffin tag and I stapled some sequins trim onto it. Tsunami Rose Ephemera. So don't laugh because I don't know how to draw. <laughs> but Morticia likes to make these little dolls, paper dolls. So I made some of those and put them in here. That's the center of the second signature. Got some roses here. The organ is because, obviously, the music for the show. Scissors because she likes to cut the, um, prune the roses. And then um, crochet because she likes to crochet. Here's a little Wednesday and Pugsley, Fester and Grandmama little um, piece of ephemera there. And then I made these little envelopes in Texas also, and inside of them is some 30, it's from the 30s or 40s. It's a 100% it's rayon uh, vintage um, French ribbon. It's, uh, it belonged to a woman, well, it belonged to her grandma who was 90. And she was like a seamstress all her life. Let's stamp. This fabric I love because if you can see, it has like gold flowers on it but as soon as you flip it over it's like you can't see it like nothing is even there so I, I love that fabric so much another tip in here uh, some uh, pruning roses diagrams there's Morticia with her African strangler known as Cleopatra Another top loading pocket that's empty. So this one says sweet. So in this book you have neat and sweet. There's a pocket here. Vintage ledger, tag, paper. The octopus I left him floating. She re he reminded me of the bottom of her hobble dress. So um, that's why I left him in there so you can put him wherever you want. Tsunami Rose stapled on there. There's Carolyn Jones, and she's also a belly band. And then here's the back of the book. There's my stamp. And that's the end of this book. So I will go through the next one, probably equally as fast. Oh, and I was inspired um, to leave all these sewing dangle tail things by Dolly, um, because that's what she did in my Dark Beauty book. So in this book... It's completely covered by fab, um, by vel velvet. I have some roses, some black pearl um, gems, and some pearls. Black doily, lace. There's Morticia. These flowers are from Junk That Treasures, which you can pick up in her shop. And then some pom pom trim here at the bottom. And then I've got some like kind of late um, leatherish trim with some other black trim that I have there. And it's got some like black bling. And then here's the back of the book. And it has the same exact um, charm as the other with the um, flower in the coffin. So I'm gonna flip through this one. On the front uh, is the paper I got from Shana. I distressed it to make it look really old on the inside. So that's how that looks. Here's Morticia with her tea. It's a beneficiary certificate. Oh, this is like a cemetery. So if you flip it up, you can write there flip it down you can write there and then here's also the copy of that don't look under the bed note <laughs> another tag that I made in Texas envelope with the, with the um, Ouija board the crow tag is in here also on Sarah's um, junk that treasures tags there's some more of that activated charcoal muslin from Adeline Country Cottage all the way from Australia is where that came and it was hand dyed. This one says petite. So, so far we've got neat, sweet, and petite. There's Wednesday. 
The light bulb represents Uncle Fester because if he knew he could put those in his mouth and light them up. This tag was made by Shayna when we were in Texas, so she made it for Morticia, so it says Wicked on there. So that is made by Shayna, another top loading pocket. I've got some music paper that's like red and distressed and an old tree here. Tsunami Rose, crow and a skull with feathers that's sewn onto the top. There's the Gomez coffin booklet. Morticia reading the paper. Jealous wife shoots husband. <laughs> oh, that is funny. There's another envelope that I made in Texas and it's also got the rayon, the French ribbon in it. I have some sequins up at the top that I sewed on to the vellum. There's another coffin or a tombstone advertisement. Center of the first signature is this big trunk. I leave those plain because I feel like um, they make good like photo spreads. There's Morticia again sewed on at the four corners and she can tuck stuff behind her. There's some more of that paper that I cut up. Gomez and Morticia. I'm really trying to hurry because the sun is coming. So the book's gonna start looking weird. Hermerlinda tag and I just distressed it and it's kind of like the newspaper header. It says the daily curse. There's my crow. There's some more of that magic fabric. <laughs> and this is another rose diagram. And that actually goes in here. And I did stamp some bats on this side as well. Another tag with some fabric onto the top. Another Lurch Eyes tuck spot with his you rang noose. I love this little trim. Another long tag. This one has Deadly Nightshade on it. So here's the other um, CD thing that I got from Junk That Treasures. And inside this one, there's a pressed rose, which is so pretty. And some sequins, because it's a shaker, and then some scraps stapled on. And the Pugsley tags in this envelope, there they are. Here's Morticia painting. Told you she did a little bit of everything. <laughs> so cemetery here, center of the book. I sewed some trim on there. More scissors because she likes to cut and it flips open and then, then behind it is a Junk That Treasures alteration tag. Another vellum tip in here. Magic potion. Here is their suburban mansion and uh, her tea cup and her teapot. Some black lace there. Another um, bag that I got from Dolly. This is just a little cro uh, printed out doily because she likes to crochet, like I said. And then behind it is a, another cabinet card, Tim Holtz cabinet card with um, Morticia inside of it. And those fit perfectly in there. Mon Cher, I stamped up here because he also calls her that. This is a top loading tuck spot with some of that paper that I cut up. Some um, postal vellum. I put the postal vellum because a thing, like I said, he likes to give the mail. So you can tuck something behind there. Uh, suburban mansion again. There's an organ here because, like I said, like I said, Terry stamp. 
some sewing pattern ruffles that I made. More washi. More vintage ledger. More cousin it. Another toe tag. <clears throat> this one is uh, snake oil. I like this envelope because on the back of it, it says hand organ polka, <laughs> which is funny because, um, because of the thing. And then inside of it is Morticia making her dolls that look much better than mine. And another one of those little doll thingies that I tried to make. There's her and Cleopatra. This tag says kooky. Thanks for these tags, Shana. I love them. For my handwritten quote, quote, in, quote, in, <laughs> quote in this book, it says, when we're together, darling, every night is Halloween. That is true. So some more dead roses, and those actually go in here. Vintage graph paper. This is a nightshade as well, and on the back of it is a pocket. Put something in there. Top loading tuck with another one of those uh, tentacle tags. <laughs> Another bag from Dolly, so you can tuck something behind it. Inside the bag is this birdcage little booklet. There's Morticia. She goes in this black lace pocket. I think that's why I left it because I was struggling because I'm rushing. Some more of that uh, muslin from Adeline's Country Cottage, Fortified Tonic Extract, another tip-in. Gosh, I feel like it's taking me forever. And I'm done. Okay, so there's the back of the book. There's my stamp. And I'm done. <laughs> All right. I am, I did this in 25 minutes, so not too shabby. All right, like I said, both of these will be listed up in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go take a look. Thank you for being here and watching this extremely long video with me. But I love these books and I hope you do too. Um, if you have any questions, if I messed up or if I forgot something, let me know. <laughs> and until next time, toodaloo.